Today I'm gonna try my hand as a Mars rover mechanic. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Rover Mechanic, a game that's currently in early access. I stumbled upon it on Steam and figured, you know what, that looks fun. We got a hanger and we got green icons. I assume green means pick stuff up. We have a tablet, I'm gonna take that, and tool case, and a cordless drill. Okay, so we got our first order. It's in this little box. It's a relatively small rover, and I think, at least according to this quest marker, if I go to this computer, I can scan my fingerprint, log in, and I can play Snake, it seems. Yeah, that's, that's okay, that's silly. <laughs> but I also have a crane. Okay, so here we have it. Now we just need to figure out what's wrong with it. We have like a like a tablet here, and it did say that uh, that one of the wheels seems to be broken. Um, so we'll see. If we can figure out which wheel seems to be the issue. Ah, okay, cool. I can go to this analysis mode. And I can begin to to look around the rover to kind of try to identify. And I managed to identify that this wheel seems to be the one that's broken. So now I just need to figure out how I get that wheel off. There's a lot of bolts around here. I would assume at least I'm going to be able to remove the wheel cap maybe. So if I go into disassembly mode, here we go. Now I can unscrew the, the wheel cap. Okay, so now that we have the damaged part removed and we know what was broken, we should be able to go to the 3D printer. Here we go. I can now print a new wheel, which is so I select the new wheel, put that on, all of these back in again, and that should be all the screws. Now, question is, what's next? Okay, so I have I have like a configuration station over here that I can use to basically update the software on this, I guess. So. We need to plug in the connector so we can actually connect to the rover and then we go over here and since so that has to be that one like that and similar there has to be that one that worked so now the rover is ready so i can go into my tablet and i can say complete order this time we got spirit that looks like it has some issues let's um they said there was a motor that was broken now exactly where the mo i think the motors are built into the wheel hops if i'm not mistaken start by seeing if we can actually identify where the motors are located hmm so i've been looking pretty much all over this thing and i've found plenty of these small re20 engines that seems to be fine most of them they have a little worn out some of them but but they're not they're not critical Aha! So I began to disassemble the wheel, and look what I found inside. If I'm lucky, which I'm not, then that was the broken one. So that means now I know where they are. Oh yeah, this one looks worn out. Let's take a look. There we go. There it is. Now these engines are a little expensive to repair, so what we'll be doing instead is we're going to take it over here to the workbench. I'll begin to take it apart. Aha. So opening it up, we can see here that there are two RE45 brushes inside that's broken. So I guess we should be able to just unscrew those and remove those from the engine. Same with the other one. You can see here, if we need to print a full engine, it's going to cost us 2613 whatever resources that is. But... Just printing the two brushes is only going to be, what, 900 and a bit. So this is a lot cheaper to just go basically print those two brushes, repair the engine, put it back in. Okay, let's reinstall the engine. That's now fixed. There we go. We're going to reinstall the bearing and the wheel. There we go. Fully assembled and fixed. And we can now go ahead and hand in the order. Ah, so it's like perks, basically. So we can invest skill points in into various... Basically, we can go into technician, economist, or 
analyst. So analyst means we can analyze things faster. I don't think that's the huge. What takes time is assembling and disassembling things. So I'm probably going to go into the technician tree, to be honest. It's a fun little game. I could see this being something I would probably play, you know, when you just need to, like, wind down and relax. Just, like, take some rovers and pull them apart and put them back together. It's. I'm not sure if we're going to do more videos on it, um, but I'm definitely going to be playing some of it off camera, that's for sure. And if you did enjoy this video, remember to give a like, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, I will see you guys in space.